Okay, now I'm going to show you how the compression and limiting in Pro Tools can work just with the stock plugins. So you'll see after my EQ, I've got the D3CL and just maxim as the limiter. So the goal here is to share the track between the compressor and the limiter. So we want the limiter to pick up the transient peaks and the compressor to do the compression on the body of the song. So I'll play this and, you, and I'll just get you to have a look at these gain reductions on the compressor and the limiter just so you can see the difference. See there's no up my compression settings and we'll see that I have chosen a 4 to 1 ratio because I needed to do that so I could get the loudness to my specification so there's a makeup gain of about 13 dB my thresholds negative 21 the attacks kind of slower 18.1 and the release is a bit slower here at 161.7 I'll make the compressor inactive and then I'll get you to listen to it just with the limiter on and you can see that we might have the same problem that we did with Ableton that the kick was standing out too too much let's see when I know that I'm hiding Yep, so just with the limiter on, it sounds quite similar to what it did like what it did in Ableton with just the limiter and no compressor. But in acting the compressor, I feel like I've really highlighted the vocal in this mix. So I'm going to keep this actually as one of my masters because it has quite a classic radio master sound because it is quite compressed as well as the vocal is very enhanced. So I'll just make the compressor active again and what I'll get you to do is listen between our songs so imagine you are hearing this on the radio The vocal is just so beautiful with this compression and I'm just going to head into my next reference track to see if it still sounds good together. Here we go. I feel like my track actually sounds better than the reference track. Yay! So that's compression for mastering using just the stock Pro Tools plugin.